What's up guys, Stark here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Retrieve the Candy Fortnite. Now this is going to be with Peckums and Tamago. So first, we're going to take a look at the, the drops and the skill books that you can find in this Fortnite. So obviously, the boss is going to be Peckums and the mini boss is going, or the, the secret boss is going to be Tamago. He does show up pretty frequently from what I've seen. And there is a secret stage in the boss where it's Peckums and Tamago together, which has a guaranteed drop of Tamago. So now let's take a look at the skill books that you can get in this Fortnite. Obviously the legend here is going to be Cavendish. If you have Cavendish, I strongly recommend you farm this Fortnite until you max him. As of this recording, the Sunny 2 is out and skill up is out, so you really should be getting on that. I know I've been slacking with One Piece a lot lately. I missed the last ranking completely and I'm really mad at myself for that, but I am going to try my best to max Cavendish before skill up goes away. Uh, you also have the Ashura Zoro books and Virgo books, which are both really nice. And then you have Blenheim, Kingdu, Kaku, Hanya Ball, and like the Minotaur Zebra thing and Hiking Bear. Um, if you have those characters, you know definitely want to try and max them, especially take advantage of the skill up going on right now. And then you can get, you know, strength and int, you know, evolver, evolution, exp boosters, whatever. So uh, there's no condition for this Fortnite, but Peckums is a strength unit, so you would want to take a quick team. Uh, we're going to be taking Marco. Now in this video, I'm not actually going to be using the Sunny 2 because it's not always going to be around, and I want to record the video of me using a normal team in case it comes back. Well, when it comes back, when the Sunny 2 is not around. So, we're going to be using a double Marco team. Uh, you don't have to use Marco. You can basically put any quick lead in you want. You can take a Marco friend if you want. But this is the team I'm going to be using. Um, Brooke is really, really valuable in this Fortnite. It's the uh, Bone to be Wild Brook because he, he changes block orbs into matching orbs and for the boss stage for Peckums that's going to be very very useful and then we're using this guy here to change tandem slots into quick and that's also going to play a good part in the boss stage and then finally we're using wiki here for the mini boss stage which I'll explain in a little bit but we're going to go right into it we probably don't need we probably won't use Dofi special um, if you're using the sunny 2 Basically, it's the same team. I just swap out Wicca for uh, th the Super Evolution Sanji. And then, obviously, I have the Sunny 2 ship. So, I can use Dofi and Marco's specials right off the bat. Alright, so here we are jumping right into this Fortnite. It's pretty simple, really. Uh, but you are using a couple of like weaker units. So, you might not be able to clear all the stages in one turn. But since you're not using the Sunny 2 on this particular team, you know, that kind of works. You just, you just need to make sure Brook and Wicca have their specials ready to go. Because the mini boss stage can actually show up randomly on pretty much any of the stages outside of the first one. I don't know if it could show up on stage 2, but it is a random stage. It's not set in its location to when it shows up. So pretty much just uh, make sure Wick is ready as soon as possible and other than that you can just go ahead and clear these stages as fast as you want. You don't really need to stall for Dofi or Marco special or anything like that. All you need is Brook, Wicca and you know this fodder blue unit right here. Then you don't even really need him, it's just nice to have. Alright, so this should be the mini boss. Oh, it's Tamago, the secret boss. So he's going to put up a uh, two-hit great barrier. So just go ahead and do that and then knock him out. It might take two turns for you to kill him. But he doesn't hit for that much damage and you have Marco's damage reduction anyway. So even if you take a hit from this guy, you're still going to have you know enough HP to get Marco's captain effect off. 
And then he will special bind uh, two of your units for two turns when he attacks. That could potentially screw you over a little bit if you if he hits Brook. But even if he hits Brook, you know, it's still it's not gonna be an issue. Alright, so here's the boss stage. Now Peckums is going to swap your orbs into block orbs or tandem orbs. And that's why we're using the fodder unit here. So you use Brook to swap all those block orbs into matching orbs. And then you would use the fodder unit here to switch the other orbs into tandem orbs. But since we can't use them, we're just going to go ahead and use Wicca. Just for the affinity boost. There you go. And that was a little sketchy because I didn't have the full matching orb set. But it's still enough to kill him. And if he does get a second attack off, he will basically just increase his defense to 100%. Like, he can't do damage to him for one turn. And it's really... He does that every two turns. It's really not that hard, even if he does get an attack off on you. Uh, it's a very easy Fortnite. Very simple. And let's hope we got a Cavendish book. We got a Cavendish book. Awesome. All right. So that was a pretty good run. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time.